what uh, what are the advantages of using a, a rumen protected urea to reduce soybean meal and canola uh, canola meal? And it's a great question. It's kind of like a, a two part question. Uh, the first part is that uh, you have to understand that the urea is going to have to be converted over to microbial protein. So obviously the ration needs to have an opportunity to, or at a low end, a rumen degradable protein. How will you know that? Well, you're going to use a rumen model. So let's say we're saying, yes, we are marginally low. When would this happen? High corn silage based diet, uh, a lot of, uh, of dry hay would fit that in that category as well. Those would be type of forages that would favor feeding some urea. Now, his second question from Muhammad is that what about rumen protected? Simply means that it doesn't break down as quickly in the rumen. And that's a good plus. So the last thing I need is having this huge amount of ammonia being released over one or two hours that the rumen microbes may not be able to capture. So if I could have it slowly going uh, dispensed over uh, three, four, five, or six hours while it's still in the room, and obviously it's got to be available in the room, and it cannot be like a, a fatty acid or an amino acid. It's got to be available for the rumen microbes. Otherwise, it's just going to be a lost nitrogen source. And so uh, the answer is yes, there, there could be a, a good use of the uh, rumen protected amino acid, uh, a rumen protected urea, excuse me. And of course, the, now the final question is, What's that cost going to be compared to the raw or unprotected urea? So, Mahaba, two questions. A, do you need some rumen degraded protein? And then what's the relative cost of the rumen protected uh, urea compared to, uh, for example, soybean meal or canola or other protein sources and, of course, the raw urea? So, Mahaba, thank you very much. Uh, that was a, a good question, and that's how I would answer it at this point. So it's very common when I have a high corn size based diet, which means making up at least two thirds of the forage dry matter, adding, uh, you know, a tenth or two tenths of a pound of urea, which, you know, would be 45 to a, a 60 grams of urea to the feeding program.